CrossFireX has a new update coming out July 20th, 2022. And that means there's a new episode of Update News. Yo, what's going on, Liz? It's Sledger. And welcome back to CrossFireX Update News. On CrossFireX Update News Episode 2, we're going to be talking about a new update for CrossFireX coming out soon, and the new map Valley and the game mode for that map. We'll also be talking about potentially a new play event with a new camo that you can unlock, and possibly a new ultimate challenge that could be happening. And then we'll also be talking about the Shasha Ultimate Challenge being removed and how long you have to complete this Ultimate Challenge. And without further ado, let's go into the update news for Crossfire X. So, the first part of update news is a new update comes out July 20th, so pretty soon. And then, look at this, to see a nice wallpaper or background of the valley. And some lava there, and could be some evolution with this railroad tracks here. Maybe not that, but I do think with the bridge that we did see in a Crossfire X Valley trailer, possibly. Pretty cool to see lava there. Don't really see that in Crossfire X maps. And then we get to see that it's going to be a TDM map. Okay, pretty cool. I actually thought it might have been a search and destroy map, but it does seem like. It's going to be a TDM map, either or, so pretty cool to see that it is going to be one of the two. I did want to see a search and short map or a TDM map. Those were the two game modes for this map that I did want to see, and it does seem like one of those game modes is happening, so that's pretty cool. And now time for the speculation of Crossfire X update news episode 2. So speculation here is going to be revolving around a new play event and a new camo. Now, the reason I say there might be a new play event is last play event in Crossfire X was, I'd say, pretty successful. To me, it was pretty fun, and we could get a new camo from it for the Kalish 103. And when you unlock that camo, you got your first camo for the Kalish 103 at the moment. Before that update, there were zero camos for that weapon, so maybe this was a way to introduce camos to the Kalish 103, and we could be seeing a few more camos for the Kalish 103. My speculation would be here that this is either a new camo for maybe not only the Kalish 103, and we could be seeing this week play event revolve around a different weapon, but if they're trying to give the Kalish 103 more weapon skins, Maybe it will be a new camo for the Kalish 103. Who knows? It could be for a different weapon. But since the Kalish 103 doesn't have a lot of camos at the moment, I think it could be for the Kalish 103. Just some speculation, but that would be the second camo for the Kalish 103. Now, the other options here, I'd have to say the most likely, are the Car 4, the pretty used option in Crossfire X, or the PWC, since that's a pretty used sniper in Crossfire X. I think that could be an option. And then, the last option I see this being is it could be a new melee camo, possibly. And now let's talk about important news for Crossfire X update news episode 2. So, important news revolves around the Sasha mission being removed. So, we have till July 20th to complete this. So, if you have that mission, have till then to complete it. And there might be a new mission added that is a new ultimate challenge rewarding a new Crossfire X mercenary, either of Globorus or Blacklist. At the moment, this is not confirmed. It's not confirmed if there will be a new Ultimate Challenge since this wasn't received that well in the Crossfire X community. However, if they did make a lot of changes to the challenge and maybe made the challenge a lot easier to complete, I think that yes, it could be happening, a new ultimate challenge, and what will the price point be for this ultimate challenge, or will there be one? At the moment, I'm not sure, but I could speculate, probably going to be the same as it was last time, 500 CFX points, 
But I did say changes other than maybe just how to complete the challenge. So maybe they will drop the price point and you just have to log in and complete the challenge to get this new operator or mercenary as CrossRx calls it. And you won't need to exactly purchase the challenge. You can just complete the challenge through playing cross for That'd be pretty cool to see, and I think maybe they will do that. And then there was one last thing I want to talk about. On July 20th at 5 p.m. PDT, Command Center Episode 1 will happen for cross for x on twitch.tv slash play cross for x Hopefully you enjoyed this week's cross for x update news. If you did, I prescribe like video, sudden, signing off. Peace!